Hey folks, Sean here with the latest edition of Beer Snobby Goodness. On uh, this edition, I'm going to be going back uh, local. It's going to be one of my favorite guys uh, for the state of Pennsylvania from Easton. This is Weyerbacher. This is their 21st anniversary edition, Barely Legal. Or no, not Barely Legal, Finally Legal. Sorry, Weyerbacher. Um, barely Legal. Where the hell was my mind? In a dirty place, apparently. My apologies on that, and I haven't even been drinking yet. So, uh, as you can clearly see, this is a uh, stout, and I've got the metrics up from the website. Uh, rather potent one, 11.9% alcohol by volume. Um, this was brewed with cocoa nibs and cocoa powder. which I can definitely smell on the nose. As you can see, uh, decent head, little, uh, little carbonated like, dissipating, still a little bit of remnant. Um, let's see, in addition to the cocoa nibs and powder, this was brewed with uh, vanilla beans and Munich malts, so. There's definitely a roasty malt character to this, but definitely, even on the nose, I can detect a little bit of uh, sweet, you know, an almost licorice-like quality. And uh, let's see. Oh, an added bonus. Maybe this is where the sweetness is coming from. Bourbon barrel aged. So, woo. And uh, that is pretty much everything on the site. So, without further ado, I'm just going to dive into the actual beer. Cheers. Ah, Weyerbacher. Thing of beauty. Um, good healthy nip. I can definitely taste... Um, some of that cocoa flavor. Not a whole lot of sweet. Mostly heavily roasted. You can definitely taste the chocolate and the cocoa. That's you know, no doubt there. Solid malt character. Not really picking up a whole lot of that bourbon note though, but that's not a bad thing. This, uh, this stands quite well with just the, uh, the chocolate, malt, and, uh, and cocoa thrown in. Let's see. That's um, very drinkable. Not a whole lot of, um, even with that alcohol by volume content, I mean, there's a little bit of a little bit of a boozy nip on the back end, but not much. This this one could definitely sneak up on you if you're not careful. So I'm uh, definitely looking forward to finishing this puppy and uh, see what I get in the end. Catch you in a bit. Yeah, well, I gotta say, you know, cocoa and vanilla with bourbon aging, um, it's a trifecta, really. It's quite priceless, really. It's at a loss for words, man. I've sat here for two minutes uh, trying to figure out what I want to say, and all I can say is genius. Weyerbacher, finally legal. Um, picked this up at Beer Store in Malvern uh, last weekend. Uh, manager Darren, you know, was kind enough to remind me that this was out. Uh, thanks, Darren. Good stuff. Um, there, there's definitely a vanilla. And uh, oak character that uh, is here throughout the drink. The bourbon really, as predicted, uh, especially with how slowly I drink these, really becomes prominent on the back end. You know, bottoms up. Ah. Good stuff. I mean, very well balanced. The, uh, the cocoa, the vanilla, with the bourbon aging. 
is just uh, everything complements without overpowering, which is, you know, that's the mark of a good beer, which, you know, Weyerbacher. That's, uh, that's how they do it. So uh, this one's out right now. As I said, um, this is it comes in four packs um, and definitely worth picking up. I mean, get it, get it before it's uh, 90 degrees and you really can't truly enjoy it the way it should be enjoyed. So that'll do it for me. In fact, you know, um, Friday is supposed to be a rainy as hell day. In fact, a rainy weekend. That's the kind of weekend you want a nice bourbon aged dark beer. So that's uh, that's my two cents. Until next time, this is Sean. Cheers.